Okay, today we're going to demonstrate how we can align multiple data sets uh, using GeoMagic Wrap. This is a snowman figurine that was scanned with a Creoform Go scan in three different positions. Uh, the Go scan, as you can see, captured uh, the color of the object. We're going to hide that captured color so we can better see the, uh, where the data is missing. So let's hide all but one. So here we can see now uh, with the color removed, uh, the blue areas are where we have coverage, the yellow areas uh, show the holes where we have data missing in this first data set. So we've got three different pieces and we are going to now align those together. So we're going to go to the alignment tab, go to manual registration. We're going to use the one point registration which allows me to pick one common data point between the two data sets. Now this does require that both data sets be uh, oriented the same uh, relative to each other. So we're just going to zoom in here. So we're just going to pick one common point and I'm going to go ahead and pick the end of his nose because that's a pretty convenient location. Uh, once that's done, then we can see here in the bottom window that the green data is then overlaid on the red data. So it looks like we've got a uh, pretty good alignment there. We're going to hit next, and that's going to allow us to now align the third data set to the first two. Again, we'll simply use the uh, single point registration. And now, just that quickly, um, all three data sets are aligned together. Let's click OK here. So after the uh, alignment or uh, registration, we can see that uh, RAP has put those three data sets together in a group. Um, so the final uh, step in this process is to go ahead and take those and merge them into a single polygon mesh. So click the merge button. We've got a few settings here. One is a global registration, so it's going to tweak the alignment between the different scans. And then you can designate the uh, amount of polygons what you want in your final mesh. We're just going to head and uh, unclick that so we get the maximum um, available and we're going to click OK. So what GeoMagic is doing now in the background is re-triangulating all the data in the overlap areas between the different data sets to come up with our final mesh. Now that the data is merged, um, we're going to again turn off that color so we can find out where we have any uh, missing data so we can get some holes. So these are typically caused by uh, line of sight issues where we couldn't necessarily get the scanner at the uh, proper angle uh, to pick up that data. Uh, so you can see we get some holes on the feet and things like that. We've also got a couple little uh, pieces of extraneous data so we're going to get rid of that as well. So. The uh, easiest way is to go to the uh, fill holes command. If I right click, I also have the option to do a little bit of cleanup. So we're going to go ahead and delete the floating data. We can also uh, select triangles here. So let's uh, loop the loo around there and delete that. Now we have the option um, with the hole filling tool to walk through from hole to hole. And then we simply uh, click fill here click the boundary and the hole is filled in for us. Now what's really nice too is if we turn that uh, vertex color back on we'll be able to see uh, once the hole filling is done that GeoMagic actually matches the color of the surrounding polygons. Now if you have quite a few holes to do, um, you can exit the individual hole filling and you can use the fill all tool. Once we hit apply there, all the remaining holes are filled. We get some pretty good color matching going on. And now we have a watertight uh, data set can be exported in a variety of formats. Uh, to go into CAD or uh, directly for 3D printing.